Urban's Toast here, and uh, we're starting um, another new segment um, where it's, you know, a music gear review, um, but not guitars, you know. Um, uh, you know, there, there are several things, um, and not bass guitars either, um, and not, not string instruments, just, just music gear in general. Um, you know, a lot of these are things that um, I use on pretty much a daily basis, you know. Um, if you watch a lot of my other videos, uh, especially the ones that are uh, the part of the random objects uh, scored by crappy music playlist. Let me back the camera up a little bit so you can see my air quotes. Air quotes. Um, uh, like I was saying, you know, a, a lot of the music that, that backs up the, uh, you know, the, the random objects scored by crappy music um, actually comes from what I'm reviewing today, um, which is... Uh, my Akai um, MPK25. Um, it's a drum pad machine um, and has 25 keys, you know, hence the name 25. Um, it, it does allow you, and I'll show you, it does allow you to change, you know, to higher and lower octaves, you know. Um, but it's pretty, um, almost without exception, you know, I, I think there may have been... Um, you know, some of the, uh, I, I've used, um, even my iPad to provide drum tracks, you know, um, uh, with, with various, actually an MPK, uh, a, a Kai program, uh, or at least an Akai program, um, you know, and I used to have one of those, um, like a Zoom rhythm track, uh, drum machine, uh, you know, uh, you know, I, I don't have a kit, you know, um, you know, without having to having to uh, you know hire a, a, a session drummer or um, you know or if I'm working on a demo um, kind of like what I'm doing now with uh, the Artemis Toast Crunch um, EP um, out uh, probably spring 17. Um, you know, I, I've been working on that pretty much on Thursdays. You know, uh, tomorrow's upload will, will probably be pertaining. Um, you know, me working on, on that project. Um, you know, most of my key sounds, um, I get on this, uh, MPK 25, but, um, recently, um, all my drums, um, you know, uh, come from, uh, from this machine. Um, you know, what, what I'm, uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, in a second, I'm going to cut and, you know, actually talk about the, or, or show the machine as I'm talking about it. Um, you know, so I'll get right to it. Um, so this is my Akai MPK, um, 25. Uh, you know, I, I have, um, some of the notes marked on the keyboard, just, just sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm the world's greatest shredding guitarist, you know, um, I'm pretty good on the keys, you know, I'm, I'm awesome on the keys, but I'm not all kinds of awesome. Um, so, you know, sometimes it helps the, the, the have a mark there, um, to, to know, you know, where I'm at. Um, as I was saying before, it does have, uh, 12, uh, touch sensitive pads that you could, uh, you know, uh, assign your different, um, drum, uh, voices or, or tones to, um, like I mentioned before, you do have the ability to go up and down, you know, the octaves because you are dealing with a, a, you know, only a 25 uh, key system. Um, you know, it, it's actually showing on there. Hard to see. Ignite. Um, Ignite is actually the program uh, on the computer that I typically use for my uh, my drum tones. Um, you know, it's 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 software that it came with. Um, you know, I'm going to do some drums, but, you know, uh, unfortunately, it's going to be coming through my, my laptop uh, speakers, you know. Um, typically, I mean, usually when I, I record them, um, it's a MIDI keyboard, so it, it, it goes directly into the computer with no um, uh, no loss of sound. You know, it's, it's just, you know, digital keyboard and digital drums, and, and it's all sent by the wires and stuff, you know, past Pez Pass the Pezzivator into the computer, uh, into the laptops, um, you know, uh, you know, that's pretty much how it works. Um, you know, I often 
you know, I'll get an idea for drums in my head. And, you know, being that um, I'm doing them with with my my hands, you know, um, I sometimes have to overdub, uh, you know, a few drum tracks um, to get what I want. Um, but as I was saying before, you know, it comes with this Ignite program. And I, I typically, um, you know, use it to get my, my drum voices. Um, you know, and I... And, these are the acoustic drum voices, um, or, or kits, you know, uh, if you listen to, um, one of my videos from, uh, I guess a little bit more than a week ago, um, it was called Swimming with Sharks, I had, uh, like double bass drum, uh, drum sounds, I used th this, uh, rock kit, um, you know, and, uh, and, and you could, You can, you can kind of hear it. You probably hear me tapping more than you actually hear me playing. Um, but what I'll do now is, you know, this isn't a comprehensive review. Um, you know, this is just kind of showing, you know, what I use to to get the, uh, the, the instrument tracks behind some of my, um, uh, you know, the videos on my Random Objects Scored by Crappy Music playlist on my YouTube's channel. Um, you know, while I can see it, you know, follow me on Artemis, at Artemis Toast on the, on the, uh, Twitters. Um, but let me set up this camera again and, and we'll kind of see some of the things that this Akai MPK 25 can do. Um, you know, quick side note, I, I also do a lot of my drums, or excuse me, a lot of my keys over here on, on my Yamaha, uh, keyboard, but, uh. For the most part, um, I get, like I use the Yamaha keyboard, and I'll do a review of it sometime too. Um, you know, I, I get a lot of my old, uh, you know, more classical piano sounds, you know, being that it's not just limited to, to 25 keys, you know. So I, I could play with both hands and, and you know, um, hit lower uh, or higher notes, you know, when, when uh, I need to. Um, but let me set this up and, you know... Uh, set up the camera and, and kind of get an idea of, of, of how this thing, a rough idea how this thing works. Cause I mean, it has, it has knobs over here that man, I, I don't even know what they do. You know, I, I'm the world's greatest guitarist. You know, I'm not a keyboard player. Um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty awesome once again, but I'm not all kinds of awesome. So, uh, you know, let's, let's get right to it. Like I said before, um, you know, I I'm going through the laptop speakers, so the audio is not going to be great. You're going to hear me slapping the buttons more than you're actually going to hear the the tones, unfortunately. But um, once again, this is just kind of to give you an idea of, uh, you know, you know, show a little bit of, of this Akai MPK-25, you know, um, its versatility in, in how I use it, um, you know, uh, I, and once again, primarily for drums, a lot of keys, and uh, it's a, it's a very versatile machine. Um, but you know, with the drums, you know, I'm, let me pick a a drum voice over here. I'm gonna go with the electronic drums, but you know. Kind of hearing what I have here. That's kind of my bass drum. And that that it's electronic kit, so that kind of takes place of the the snare. You know, um, usually there's some. And once again, I use a lot of overdubs, but it, it's. It sounds better once it goes through the wire, but uh, w once again, I apologize. You're gonna hear a lot of just my my, my slapping. Um, let me see if I can find a maybe a louder drum voice. Um, oh, that's interesting. I'll use this one.
but like I said, that's basically just an overview. I, you know, I didn't have any drums playing. I'm, I'm not, you know, uh, just ba basic, basically just playing with the sounds, you know, so you get an idea. Um, and once again, I, I use it for um, a lot of other things, too. Uh, you know, if the uh, one of my another one of my recent uploads, the. Um, uh, the office supply hijinks one, you know, it had a lot of, uh, orchestral sounds to it. Um, I just used this keyboard. Um, you know, don't get me wrong. It was a lot of, you know, um, multi-tracking, you know, um, but like I said, I, I essentially just used this keyboard. Um, you know, cause there's so many, so many voices that you could really do. Um, you know, You do pretty neat things with it. Um, you know, you get, you get your your spooky synth sounds. Um, you know, another nice thing is like once you record it, like if I recorded a part, you could change the voice after the fact to the kind of. Um, you know, maybe you had a, a particular, you know, say you're a rhythm player, you know, you, you primarily play rhythm, but, you know, you could apply that rhythm, um, you know, I could even, you know, do, do like a drum, start off a track, you know, like as drums, and apply like a, um, you know, a synth voice to it to, to kind of, you know, completely change it, um, I, you know, when experimenting, you, you do a lot of that, I mean, you know, the nice thing about this Akai MPK-25 is, um, you know, there's so many different tones you can get out of it. You know, I mean, you could, I mean, I've created whole instrument tracks, you know, just using, you know, this little keyboard um, and drum pad machine. Um, but once again, like, like I was saying, you know, about the, uh, the uh, office supply hijinks. I mean, you'll you'll recognize a lot of. Uh, I'm not playing the exact music, but the, you know, you get the tones, so you get the 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 kind of. Uh, they call it the pizzicato strings, you know. And then you know they also have the orchestral strings where you can come in with your your longer notes, you know the the spiccato strings and the the pizzicato strings you know they're the the quick snaps but you know for the for the background layers you know they have and then once again they have a, a kind of a kind of almost like a reminds me of a whammy pedal for a a, a you know guitar obviously um but once again, uh, I like to use this for for most of my, uh, you know. Once again, the uh, I forget my own playlist sometimes. The uh, random objects scored by crappy music. Um, most of the time, the audio or the backing tracks or the um, the the score music for for those um, videos on that playlist. They they. Are created um, on the MPK on the MPK 25, you know, via the Ignite program um, on the uh, on my laptop, um, and then what I usually do um, from there is, you know, I mix it down to MP3, uh, the audio file, whatever I recorded, and then I open that with um, either Mixcraft 6 or uh, um, uh, Cakewalk um, Music Creator. Um, and depending on what tempo I was recording at, 
um, I'll, I'll then cut those pieces into, um, I'll cut them down into loops. And then uh, with the loops, I'll, uh, within Mix Set Craft 6, I'll, I'll start to, um, you know, com com compose the whole instrumental track. Um, usually what happens is, you know, I'll, I'll take, you know, once, once I use Wondershare, uh, Filmora to, to edit the video, I'll see the length of it. Um, and then I'll know what, um, timing I have to work with in, in order to in, incorporate in a musical track for whatever, uh, the edited video is. Um, and then I, I just, you know, experiment with it and, uh, you know, um, sometimes I use, uh, you know, tracks that I've already created, um, you know, because every once in a while I'll have like a little ditty in my head and I'll just record it real quick. You know, it's not a, it's not a part of a whole yet, but, um, you know, it could be, I could just be humming, you know, and, and say, you know, I'll, I'll do a, you know, a certain like little, um, kind of piano part, uh, or even, or a vibra, vibra vibraphone, uh, And then if that was recorded, you know, the cool thing about using this Ignite, you know, as long as it's still an audio track that's saved in there, um, I, I could, you know, change the, the voice of it, which is really pretty cool. Um, but once again, you know, uh, I'm kind of dragging on with this video. Um, this is my Kai MPK-25. Um, it, it's pretty much the source of, of all my, my keyed sounds, all my orchestral sounds, um, all my drum tracks. Um, you know, um, the only thing I r really do that doesn't involve the MPK-25 are my guitars, um, you know, um, and, you know, my, my bass tracks. Although I, I, I can use this for bass, but, you know, I, I like using a, a, an actual string, four-string bass, you know, in standard tuning. Um, cause you, you could slide on the frets, you know, and, and that's, unfortunately, that's something you can't do with a, with a, with keyed bass. I mean, you, you can, you know, you hit right on the notes if you're doing a simple, uh, you know, bass rhythm track, but, you know, uh, sometimes the, the, um, the natural feel and the, um, the less, um, you know, sometimes I don't mind if, if the rhythm's very mechanical, you know, um, uh, even sometimes, you know, with the bass rhythm, um, but I, I like the precision, um, of my drums, you know, I, I could, uh, set the uh, metronome to whatever tempo I happen to be recording in. Um, and once again, I'm gonna have to figure out what all these, what all these other knobs are. I mean, you know, I never read the, the manual. Uh, I just kind of, I kind of shoot from the hip, you know, um, just experimenting, you know, same thing I do with my, my video editing. But once again, um, fantastic tool um you know i mean this in a laptop um the M the kai mpk 25 and a laptop and um you know even even one of these you know uh i'm gonna talk about one of these uh, on a future video which is another great tool with, with with these three things you know you know me or four things you know um the artist um microphone, the Kai MPK 25 keyboard and a laptop, um, you know, the, the options are absolutely endless, which is, you know, all kinds of awesome. Um, but as I said many times before, cause I have a habit of doing that. Um, I just wanted to show, you know, how I got some of the drum tracks and some of the instrument tracks, you know, that, that accompany my, uh, you know, random objects scored by crappy music and some of my other videos too. Um, you know, my, the Artemis toast, uh, intros, you know, the time-lapse one, you know, with the, with the, the record player and, and, you know, the marker, um, 
that all those instrument tracks were created on this uh akai mpk 25 um i have another my older intro was was like uh the drums were on this but the it, it was just really bad recorded guitar um i think like three gu guitar tracks you know um but great versatile um music making machine um the ignite it comes with is, is great um software i mean there's other things i could use i could use a midi keyboard with um but for the time being i'm, I'm i've been you know using the, the voices that came with it because i'm i'm trying to limit you know when you have so many uh options and so many possibilities as far as tone and and you know not even get into the the engineering and editing and effects and you know reverse tracks and you know um multi -lay i mean there's so many things you could do so I, i'm limiting myself to to the ignite voices instrument voices Otherwise, I'd never get anything done. You know, sometimes you have to um, corral yourself. You know, I, I try to do the same things. You know, I try to always use the same bass tone. Um, guitars is another story altogether. You know, I experiment with all kinds of guitar tones. But for the most part, um, you know, I, I try to corral myself, you know, because um, you lose focus. You know, I could spend a whole day trying to get a, a certain guitar tone um, when I'd rather make the music. Um, but... Akai MPK 25, all kinds of awesome. Uh, Artemis Toast out.